Hey Aquarius, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. Let's see what the universe has for you Aquarius. Aquarius. I feel like you're emotional, but you don't want to be emotional. I feel like something is racking your brain or your heart that you're trying to figure out, which makes sense is why you cut on this video because you want to be able to move on or move ahead. Look at you got the three of wands twice um, because you want to be able to kind of not really safely move on, but assuredly move on and move ahead. Oh, angels just say you want to know what you're getting into. You have some sort of new love or new love transaction that's here that showed up for you. Or, yeah. Yeah. Angels are saying you need to know if you need to move towards this person or move away from this person. I feel like to an extent you're burning the midnight oil on thinking and planning and trying to figure this situation out. Um, you know, this is crazy with this three of wands here twice. And then the three of wands with the high priestess, I feel like, you know, what it, exactly what it is you need to do. Not only that, but I know you, I feel like Aquarius, you know, you need to move forward with this person, but for some reason that doesn't check out with you as an air sign, like mentally, right? Thoughtfully, it's like, yeah, no. Mm -mm. Like, let me think about this again. It's almost like you don't, you don't want to accept your fate to an extent, right? Your fate says, yeah, go towards this person. But Aquarius is like, mm, let me look at that again. You got the three of wands and the world card. To me, this is like the world is your oyster. I'm also hearing with this three of wands and a world card. It's like, what else are you going to do? What else do you have going on? Because he's sitting here waiting like for that ship to dock, waiting for the ship to come in, kind of like to offload. It's, you know what I mean? He's been just kind of patiently waiting there, kind of, you know, managing things in his mind. He's immobile, he, immobile, right? He's not really doing anything. And it's almost like, you know, the world to me, you kind of represent your life and your experiences, your lessons, everything that you've gone through. And it's like, well, now that you know everything that you know, now that you've been through everything that you've been through, what are you going to do? Right? Not only that, but you're sitting there and you're wondering this while you got like new love or a new love option right up under your nose. I feel like for a lot of you guys who may want to run towards the relationship or the new love option, it's almost like you're going to do it at your own pace, which is going to be a very slow pace. Right. Not only that, but it's going to be very intellectually driven. Um, cause for you, you don't want to get caught up or bonded or possessed. Yeah. You as an Aquarius, the free, the free spirit, it almost even feels like commitment to you feels like bondage, right? And you're trying to figure out what, how to escape the bondage. Okay. Commitment is not bondage though, Aquarius. Commitment to an extent is really an agreement. You know what I mean? Like, like your, your, your elect, electric company, you agree to use, to pay, to use their services. They agree to provide you with services. And at the end of every billing cycle, you agree to pay for the services you use. That's it, right? It's no jail or no picking up dead animals on the side of the road. Like, I feel like to an extent you are, you are overthinking whatever this new love option is. Not only that, but I also kind of get that you're thinking in a vacuum as in you're thinking in your head versus actually getting out there and experiencing this relationship. That's your problem. Aquarius is that you're, you're looking at this in the lab of your mind and you don't have any real world advice or real world world experience related to this particular person related to this love. 
And to an extent, yeah, you have absolutely no experience with this person. And that's what's kind of rattling your brain too, because you don't know what to think. You don't know what to expect. And all you could do is pretty much just sit there and just kind of wait like, uh, well, I don't know. And not only that, but the pre person has already made the gesture. And, you know, this is somebody to an extent that you could have been interacting with. But to it again, to take it to that next level of two of cups, possible commitment. I feel like for you, Aquarius, that shit sent you into a tizzy. And it's like the default is for you to kind of mosey on down the road to kind of like leave. Right. Um, to overthink and overanalyze and burn the midnight oil. Like I said before, you know, um, here with the high priestess, that's you guys watching these videos or listening to your intuition before you actually make a move or get in the game. And I feel like with the six of wands, that's saying, yo, go like, it'll be okay. I promise it'll be okay. But if you haven't worked that shit out in your mind, you're like, no, I can't go because I might get hurt or this person may reject, right? Just all the stupid shit you're telling yourself that's keeping you kind of um, under under those swords, right? Keeping you a kind of quote unquote victim under those swords. But they are the swords of what you're telling yourself, the swords of your mind. <sighs> I can't make this stuff up choose a new direction, right? Choose a new direction. Stop sitting and waiting. Get in the game, get in the game of life. <laughs> Aquarius. No. Aquarius is like, not yet, Alex. I got to look at this three more times. Okay. All right. Whatever's best for you, baby. Within the next few weeks. Well, Aquarius, you got another couple of weeks. Okay. In the near future, there are your timelines. I feel like Aquarius, in all honesty, you're going to be in a relationship soon, right? Because I feel like no matter how you mull this over mentally, because you're in an air sign, right? No matter how you mull this over mentally, you're going to wind up going forward anyway, right? You're going to wind up getting frustrated with yourself saying, oh shit, fuck it. And just kind of quote unquote, maybe dive right in. Um, not really dive right in. I don't think that's your way, but I think it's like you may ease or kind of mosey on into it very freaking slow, like two mile an hour slow. And, um, it's going to freak you out every step of the way. But I do kind of feel like once you actually get over the hump, it's smooth sailing, um, from, from there on in. All right, Aquarius, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, and subscribe. Love you, babies. Bye.